hi welcome let's create a temp table for loading the data I have a temporary data onto my directory let's check the data it's a simple two column data and it's a integer type let's make sure you have a same data <clears throat> now let's check the table and see I don't have uh, any data in the table here's my command to load data from a file into a table I will explain details about this at the end of the video um, the job is success that means the data is loaded let's make sure you verify the data let's query the table again let's go to the okay let's query the table okay so here is the data I have loaded now let's export the data from the table into a file it's the other way around so I'm gonna paste the command here um, this will take the uh, source connection details so and then where you want to save the data once the job is successful you can see a file export file will be created we have given a my table underscore export let's check that here it is now the third option is um, um, loading a table from one system to uh, another system let's delete the data in one of the table now I'm going to load this particular table from uh, my table I just deleted data from test table and then uh, I'm gonna load it from my table so here is my command source table basically source connection details and target connection details and uh, source table and target table this will simply load data from source table to target table once the job is successful then we can verify the data is loaded into our test table that is our second table now the job is success let's uh, verify the table is loaded successfully or not uh, okay here is my table in my second table that is our test table now um, let's go back to the commands uh, I have used um, okay so we have uh, three options one is a uh, file to Teradata second Teradata to a file and third Teradata table to a Teradata table okay so I'm gonna explain the options in a while uh, let me put it in a format okay the first one from a file to a table you need uh, uh, database connection details user password and uh, what is the source file name and the target table name this will simply this is the default behavior of uh, td load it simply loads data from a file into a table target table and uh, the second option is uh, teradata table to a file basically exporting data from a table to a file so the source is your teradata you're gonna give a teradata tdp id and uh, source username and source user password and uh, source table and where you want to load the data where you want to export the data so here is your target file name and you're going to give the job name internally it creates a tpt job so it's just a wrapper td load is just a wrapper on top of uh, tpt you don't have to write a tpt scripts and all 
it will take care of that so this is a short form of uh, TPD um, <clears throat> and uh, third option you can use this TD load for um, loading from one table to another table you will be giving a source connection details and target connection details as well as uh, source table and target table this will simply load a table from a source table so uh, you can make a note of these commands okay here I have made some uh, summary points TD load is a wrapper on top of a DPT uh, internally it uses the uh, TPT command uh, for unload and load operations this is a simple uh, command line tool and uh, by default um, with the minimum parameters you can load a data from a file to a table with the default delimiter as comma if you want to use a different delimiter you can use with option minus D uh, for example minus D with a pipe so uh, you can play with that and uh, with the explicit source connection details and the job name uh, you can invoke uh, the tool as uh, loading from uh, 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 exporting a data from a table to a file and the fourth one is uh, uh, with the source and target connection parameters you can use it as uh, to load data from a target uh, uh, source table to a target table and uh, here is some documentation from Teradata if you want you can go for more details uh, there is a way you can wrap all these parameters into a job and uh, you can just give a job name to a TD load so that will simply does the job for you you don't have to explicitly uh, mention all the parameters on the command line uh, that's a simpler way of doing it um, so there are some options available to do that thank you very much for uh, watching the video